Hey, RV family, keep it, I keep it tight. My name is Jay Moore, Sir Review Guy, and I'm back again to bring you another video. And in this one, I'm going to be covering the new Carnifex album entitled World War X. This is the seventh studio length album by the nuclear blast signed San Diego, California deathcore band Carnifex, formed in 2005. And you know, four score and a thousand reviews in the past, I reviewed their record Slow Death, and that is my favorite record from them. I own it, and I really enjoy that record. So naturally, I was very very excited to see what they were going to do on World War X, specifically considering some of these singles were just really good. They did release an EP not too long ago, comparatively speaking, with this record. It wasn't necessarily in conjunction, but it wasn't too far apart. I love the single World War X. It was just so rip-roaring, so violent, and also like No Light Shall Save Us featuring Elisa White of Arch Enemy fame. Slow Death was just so hateful. It was so chunky and bassy and low and loud. By all means, the instrumentation is not too unlike anything you would have gotten off of Slow Death or even previous Carnifex records. It has all these staples that the band has incorporated in their sound for over a decade, well over a decade now. Although some of the breakdowns and some of the drums can sound a little bit more punchy and resonant at times. A more death metal leaning deathcore sound that doesn't go too overboard on the breakdowns and symphonic elements interspersed throughout that either make things swelter and build up in an orchestral fashion or fade away in a cinematic fashion. When it comes to over-the-top cinematic kind of epic introductions to a deathcore record, no one really does it much better than Carnifex. The main difference on this record has to be the vocal approach by far, Miles. Scott Lewis has always been a vocalist that I really admire and really enjoy listening to for a deathcore vocalist, and on Slow Death, he didn't really push himself out of his comfort zone any more than usual. He usually stuck to his very low, guttural register, his normal growl, and didn't really do anything that out of his weakness house. But on this record, he kind of surprised me a little bit. You get layered shrieks and growls quite often, and a lot of times these shrieks remind me a lot of the band Make Them Suffer, specifically something that could have been off their first record, Never Bloom. Which, if you haven't listened to Never Bloom, listen to Never Bloom, it's a great record. He pushes his growls even lower to this O-shaped whisper, and the shrieks sound like he's getting his vocal cords ripped out of his throat, and he's just trying to get his words out as fast as he possibly can before it's too late. It's great. If you know Carnifex, you'll know that their 2011 album, Until I Feel Nothing, incorporated some black metal elements, and I think that on World War X, that influence comes through in spades a little bit more on multiple different sections of multiple different tracks. Some of those fast, frigid, Blast beats paired with these shrieked vocals and symphonic elements hanging out in the background just remind me so much and scream symphonic black metal, even if their inclusion a lot of times are very short. The lyrics are as negative as ever. That's another thing about Carnifex. It's kind of their shtick is just being very like obsessed and talking about just depression, betrayal, hatred, hopelessness, lonesomeness, and all just honestly general misanthropy. They do it very well, and I wouldn't say they do it any better or worse than they did on Slow Death or any of their previous records. The lyrics are just as hateful and spiteful as ever. From the opening gunfire sounds of World War X to the piano breakup period near the latter half of this infernal darkness, one of the trademark unique things that helps Carnifex set themselves apart from other deathcore bands, both contemporary and olden, is just that classical feel, that traditional feel they put into their tracks that just break it up and just make it so much more enjoyable. Production sounding about the same as it did on Slow Death, nothing to complain about, nothing to necessarily praise that much, although the drums do feel a little bit prominent at times. The bass is as audible as ever. That is another thing that I really do like about Carnifex is the fact that they mix their bass in such a way and give it enough shine to where when it does pop in, it doesn't just end up sounding like another distorted, down-tuned guitar. It actually sounds like its own fleshed-out instrument that's being played by a proficient musician. If you enjoyed Slow Death, you're gonna 100% enjoy World War X because it doesn't go so far off the beaten path that it's unrecognizable or unfamiliar territory. It's a fairly safe deathcore release with all of the staples that Carnifex has always played with. Sure, when it comes to diversity compared to their previous records, I don't think it's standing apart so much that it's just miles different than anything they've ever done before, but it still has that grimy, down-tuned, mud-caked sound. It still has the symphonic elements, the breakdowns, Scott Lewis's great vocal performance, great guitar work, pounding drumming, 
Lane, an audible bass, some pretty nice production, and spiteful and hateful lyrics that back up what they're talking about very well and what they're playing. The instrumentation backs their vocals and their lyricism very, very well. It's just an all-around great Carnifex record, even if it's not the most far-reaching or experimental deathcore record you're going to hear this year. I'm going to be giving this record a 7 out of 10. And that is a wrap. Please stay for the end screen. I'll link some videos that you might be interested in. Have you heard this new Carnifex record, World War X? If you have, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to discuss a record with you. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. It'll help me out a lot. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. My name is Jay Morris, Review Guy, and I'm signing off saying farewell.